Hi everyone, Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. So I've wanted for a while to do a, I don't know, a, a, an occasional segment called something along the lines of musings of a bullion dealer. Um, as a lot of people would know, I spend a disproportionate amount of time in uh, in cars, driving to various meetings, and I've made it no um, no real secret that I quite often come in from rural areas and uh, spend time on uh, the various car parks that we affectionately call freeways um, in and around Melbourne. And uh, while you're, you're spending quite a bit of time in, in these heavy traffic situations or when you're driving large distances, you tend to get lost in thoughts and, um, you know, sometimes they're useful thoughts and sometimes they're not. So we're going to try, we're probably going to try a section called something along the lines of musings of a bullion dealer. And my musings this morning are probably not a good one to kick off with. Um, yesterday was quite a quite a difficult day at Bullion Now. Um, we had some fairly serious challenges come our way, not least of all being um, somebody successfully ripped us off. Uh, and that doesn't happen very often. I mean, we certainly don't talk about it publicly, but one of the problems with running a business so, the, with the turnover of bullion now um, running on such light margins that we do uh, you know I've, I've said this many times um, you know we operate on a on a margin of somewhere between one and three percent you know if we're getting a, a three percent gross profit I'm not talking net profit here if we get a three percent gross profit on um, some of our sales we get you know that's high fives all around the office it's it's huge um, most businesses and you know, any business owners that are listening to this could chip in um, in the comments below, but most businesses run on at least 10 plus um, gross margins on their on their um, items that they sell. So for, for non-business people by gross margins, I'm talking about um, what we buy it for, what we source it for compared to what we sell it for. Um, so that doesn't take into account um, wages and and uh, you know lighting and electricity and and insurances and storage fees and um, you know taxes and all that sort of stuff. It's purely just looking at I bought this widget for a hundred dollars and I'm selling it for a hundred and ten. Well, that's a nice ten percent margin. Or we buy things for a hundred dollars and quite often we sell them for a hundred and one. So the, the very very little margin and out of that dollar we've got to take you know any wages and expenses. Because we deal with higher priced items quite frequently, when we make a mistake like we did yesterday, it can seriously impact the bottom line. So just on the pure product level, you know, it probably cost us somewhere around about $6,000. So working on a even a 1%, let, let's say, a, well, 1% is nice and easy. I can do those numbers off the top of my head. Um, if we're working on a 1% margin, that means that the next $600,000 worth of sales through Bullion Now um, are, are going to be required purely just to cover that mistake that was made yesterday. That makes it pretty tough if uh, if you're a business owner and or even if you're a, a you're not a business owner but you're a wage earner. You think how long it takes to turn over, um, you know, the equivalent of six hundred thousand dollars in your industry compared to ours, and it can certainly take out several days worth of worth of turnover just to just to get back to that square one and, and again I'm talking gross profit you know it's it's far larger than that when you start taking into account um, you, you know your net profits which is where you've actually got to come from for this because um, the item cost us six thousand um, dollars so I've got to take it out of the net profits that we actually make to pay that back so you know you're talking a, a few million dollars worth of turnover at the end of the day just to come back to square one so this industry can be can be brutal sometimes when you're not watching the pennies. Um, it's uh, it, it's not it's it, it is the fault of us. It's not the fault of us. Um, we obviously didn't set out to um, be maliciously uh, taken advantage of, but also it, it it highlighted a hole in our procedures that we that we will now tighten up um, and provide further training for for staff which again costs more money. This is probably a fairly depressing <laughs> introduction to musings of a bullion dealer, but it's it's the real life challenges of 
of bullion dealers, but also of small and medium um, sized businesses, even large businesses. Um, there's a lot of uh, complaints from, from Coles and Woolworths in their last um, shareholders meetings where they were talking about the increase in, in shoplifting. It impacts on us, on us all, um, both financially and, and emotionally. So, next time you, um, next time you're in a, a shop, and you complain about the prices, and you look at their margins, just remember that you're not seeing, you're not seeing the real cost. You know, you, you glance around a shop and you go, you know, they're making a huge amount off this off this small item. You know. Um, businesses are unfairly jacking up their prices and they're taking advantage of inflation and all these types of things. Have a look around and you'll find that all businesses, not you know, not the one you're standing in, not just the one you're standing in, but pretty much every business across the board, we're all doing it tough at the moment. We're all counting our pennies and we're not wanting to increase prices, but we're having to to cover things like this that really you know we all just want to get on and do our job we all want to get on and provide incredible customer service incredible products to incredible people some days you can't do that some days you've got to go well you know the the world didn't smile on us today um, it took the legs out from under us so anyway that's uh that's today's musings of a bullion dealer um, let us know down below if you'd like more of these types of things. I'll try and do some upbeat ones, not just the depressing ones moving forward. Um, but yeah, if this floats your boat and you'd like to hear more about the struggles and challenges and um, tribulations and high points and low points of being a bullion dealer, give this thing a like, make a comment below saying you'd like to see more and, and we'll see what we can do. That's it for now. We'll talk again very, very soon. See ya.